Hello explorers and welcome to another video and today we are going to talk about PHP compatibility. In PHP you have a bunch of different versions and they have frequently now upgraded to new versions where they have deprecated old stuff and added new stuff. And the problem you can run into if you have an old legacy uh, software and you want to upgrade is that some things are not supported anymore. And we were talking about it at work and we needed a solution to check is this supported anymore in our PHP application. And this is an old application with a lot of good PHP code, but we haven't adopted Compose or anything like that Because it's an old application. It does what it does. It doesn't have any dependencies Just a bunch of PHP code So I needed to find a solution to check that code so we can go up to 8.1 for instance, so if we switch over to my uh, screen here I found that the code sniffer library could actually do this with a little plugin so in order to get code sniffer you need to vjet a par file here and then you can run that par file with a bunch of parameters in order to run a checker. But we also need this plugin for code uh, compatibility and it's over here, com PHP compatibility and it's a coding standard for PHP code sniffer and it has support for 8.0 and 8.1 and so on. So a bunch of different versions that it can check. Uh, and what is the easiest way to install it? It's just downloading the tar file and packing it up and then saying to PHP code sniffer that there over there is the plugin. And in releases here, the latest compatibility is 9.3.5. And here we have the source code in a tar G set, uh, set. So let's go over to the code um, window here. So I have a work directory and in this work directory I have a um, site of WordPress and Snook, my old little uh, ORM, uh, network, ORM thingy that I tested out. It's just a bunch of PHP classes, nothing uh, really fancy there, but some PHP code that I can test. So first off, I get a PHP code sniffer here, the far file, get that with wget, make it runnable so I can use it. Then I fetch this other PHP compatibility uh, targ zip file and I unpack that. And then you see I get this PHP capability and then PHP capability and down here we have all the PHP files in order to check different syntax. Um, so now that I have installed that, let's go into Snook for instance and check some things. So I found that this little command here works well. So we have uh, PHP CS far extensions PHP. Uh, we can do like this. Uh, so put it in up here instead. So it's easier to read. Whoop. So PHP par extension, only PHP file. It can check JavaScript files as well, but I went it in and did that in the uh, in the uh, WordPress and it hang and didn't really finish, took a long time. So I'm gonna just check the PHP code here. And then the path I want to check, just this dot, uh, so the current directory. I will check against the standard and then I do dot dot and then the PHP capability uh, three point, uh, 9.3.5 and then PHP compatibility and then runtime set test version. So I runtime set a parameter to test and the test version is the parameter that I want to set and in this case I check 5.5. If I run that, I got a bunch of errors here that the const keyword is not allowed in PHP 5.5 or earlier. So we see that it actually works pretty well. I got a bunch of errors and I, I'm satisfied with that. I can run it against 7.1 for instance, no issues, 8.1, 9.3.5, 9.3.5. 
no issues. So that's a good thing. Um, easily tested with smaller things. So let's go into WordPress then. And I actually found this really old version from 2019 that I check out now. And if I run a check with, let's say, 7.1 and run that through, it's gonna take a little while because this is about 500 files, 546. But you see, you get some warnings. Later on, we're gonna get some errors. This will probably not even be something that you can run in 7.1. And if we are back here and checking the different things, we see that use of deprecated PHP 4 style class contractor is not supported anymore. We see that this HTTP raw post data is not supported anymore. We have magic quotas that is not supported. So there is a bunch of errors here. And if we go e up to the top here and look at the actual report, we see that there is much to do before this can actually run in 7.1. If we on the other hand do git checkout monsters, the latest version, and run that against 8.1, which should be supported. I have tested this against 7.1, 7.0, 7 7.2, 7. 3, 7.4, 7.5, 4, uh, 8.0 and 8.1 and I get pretty much the same result for all of them and that is exactly what the supported version sheet says as well that most of these versions should be supported by uh, the different PHP versions. And we are back and it took a while, but you see here that there is a bunch of files tested. There is some errors, some warnings, but not much. And if we go down and check what it actually is warning about, it's this uh, mcrypt library that is deprecated and so on. But this is in random compat. So this is a compatibility layer. So that is not really an issue. The same goes for the, this byte set string, a compat. Uh, what I think is a little bit strange in the main code here is this MySQL extension is deprecated. So I guess that they have written code that this flags but it isn't actually an issue. So if we look at these lines we should probably find something that is written uh, as totally okay but it looks like something that is not okay. Here we have another one, sodium compat, and then overloaded, not okay anymore. So it finds all the issues, but not, but they are not probably really issues. So let's see here if we can go into this file, just for example, 656. Um, 656. So this is just a name of a function MySQL to RFC 339. And I guess, my guess is that this is something that they have specified by themselves in this file. Okay. So I guess that that is something because I don't think that that is a real MySQL function that actually exists in the library. So I think that is something they have written themselves. So that I think all of those are fine, but they still found them and you need to go through and check that it is correct and perhaps change that name because it's confusing and it's actually something that could be misleading when it comes to the library. So this is what I wanted to show today. I hope that you found this interesting. I'm gonna run this on our code and see if we find a bunch of errors. It could be interesting. Uh, what do you use to check your PHP code so you can see that they are capab uh, capable to run on the new engine? Um, do you have any good suggestion on a tooling that could be run automatically without having you near that you can run in for instance CI where this should work just fine there 
Um, and we also have this PHP Storm. It's a paid application, but it has similar functionality. So that's another other option. So what do you use? What do you like? Leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next one.